Morgan, thank you. Yeah, Lisa Sue, thank you so much for having us here on Overtime here at uh, the AMD campus in Austin. We're just talking about Oracle's report. Of course, we need to be careful that they always give their guidance on the call, but so much of what they're reporting is coming out of data center, which has been just a, a huge growth area for you. Today at South by Southwest, though, you were talking also about the AIPC, about the client side. So hoping to start there. Yeah, absolutely. So John, thank you for being in Austin. Uh, we're very happy to host you on our campus today. Uh, look, it's been um, a great day. I really enjoyed being at South by Southwest. It seems like everyone is in Austin this week. <laughs> Um, all the movers and shakers. And yeah, what we talked about today at, um, at the uh, keynote was really um, a bunch of different things. I mean, first of all, um, AI is um, really still at the very beginnings of what we can do in technology. Uh, we can talk a lot about the data center. I, I usually uh, start there. Uh, but I did spend some time talking about AI PCs. And I'm, I'm very excited about this continuum of AI products as you go from you know, cloud to edge to PC and really trying to get um, you know, sort of the user experience such that everybody has AI somewhere in their lives. Help me with my skepticism here though sure. on the AI PC itself because it seems like this latest boom in interest in AI and some of the economic activity came out of OpenAI's chat GPT release and investors really started to realize, okay, this is gonna be big. See it happening in the data center. But when we start talking about inferencing and the client side, I don't see my kids saying, oh, I need a new AI PC to run this new AI version of Fortnite, right? They're still asking for the graphics cards, AMD, where AMD uh, plays, uh, to do the same kind of thing as before. So do we need to see new software that's putting demands on the hardware in a new way before the AI PC gets momentum, if it does? Yeah, well, um, let me take a step back, John, and kind of tell you, um, describe a little bit of how I see the market evolving. So um, true, like, you know, ChatGPT and all of these large language models have showed us that you can get access to a tremendous amount of capability uh, with um, all of the training and inferencing that you do in the cloud. Um, but it turns out that, you know, people really have a lot of personal data and the way you want, you know, you use your PC, it's actually a personal productivity tool. So what I see is that we're at the beginning of the era where we can make much, much more capable personal assistance in the PC form factor. And things like, you know, I can ask my PC, when was the last time I saw John Fort? What did we talk about? Remind me what he was interested in. Those types of things, which today I'd have to spend, you know, probably an hour looking through like all kinds of things. That's one example. Um, actually, on the South by Southwest stage today, we showed uh, a, uh, a, a really good example of you know, doing um, you know, text to image where you could do it locally. So you don't have to connect to the cloud. You can do it right in your own um, you know, PC. And again, these are things that uh, as the technology gets better, um, I am absolutely sure that uh, everyone's going to want an AI PC. Also on stage, you're joined by Weta, you know, the really high end uh, special effects creators. Does the AI PC to your point about text to image, really catch on with professionals first and in their iteration and ideas, and then that filter through the way it has with so many other graphics powered capabilities? I, I, I do think that there is a, a, a thing about expert users will start first. So we actually had uh, David Connolly on stage from What FX. Um, actually, big congratulations to them. They won an Oscar last night for War is Over. That was entirely rendered on AMD technology. So mm. we were very excited about that. But what you see is, you know, again, for whether you're a Hollywood, you know, movie studio or you're a content creator or you're just a, um, you know, sort of a regular person who has lots and lots of data, um, AI can help you sift through that, can help you use it uh, in a, a more productive way, uh, can take things that used to take, you know, days or hours and you can reduce it to, you know, minutes um, in terms of finding things, um, whether it's text to image or now you saw, you know, text to video. Uh, it's, it's really an opportunity to just become much, much more productive. And, you know, the technology that we're putting in today's PCs, um, you know, I'd like to say that we've had um, CPUs, GPUs, now we have um, you know, AI accelerators that are there just to make it much more powerful in a very small form factor.